Well, hello everybody, it's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you are fantastic. Well, I've got some really good news today. Our prayer and teaching service, where we take a passage of scripture and we unfold that and apply it to our life, well, that is coming out in two different versions now over the weekends and stays up on our website for the entire week. Uh, if you go to this address on the screen, brucedowns.org, uh, you can watch it by either watching the full worship experience, which gives you the music and the praying for needs and the message. Or if you're a bit shorter on time or you don't wish to watch the rest, you can just go straight to the message, the talk part of it, by pressing on the message only button. So you'll see the title of the title of it, uh, which is this week called How to Get Among Above the Trees. And then you'll see choose watch full worship experience or message only. You choose and you can watch either one. And I want to encourage you in this Advent season that you choose one and just take the longer dip into a different and uh, deeper experience of God speaking to us uh, through the message. Well, today I want to have a look at Luke chapter 19. Luke chapter 19. And it says this. It says, He entered Jericho and was passing through it. And a man was there named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but on account of the crowd, he could not because he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to see him because he was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down. For I must stay at your house today. So he hurried down and was happy to welcome him. All who saw it began to grumble and said, He's gone to be the guest of one who is a sinner. Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Look, half of my possessions, Lord, I'll give to the poor. And if I've defrauded anyone of anything, I'll pay back four times as much. And then Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house because he too is a son of Abraham. For he, the son of man, came to seek out and to save the lost. This is the great passage of Scripture. Now, the other day we looked at Luke 18, verse 18, which was the story of the rich man who comes to Jesus and says to Jesus, what do I have to do to win eternal life? And Jesus says, well, keep all of these Ten Commandments. He says, do that. And uh, he, he says, I do that. And then the, Jesus said, there's one more thing. You're rich, go sell what you have because it's got your heart. Well, now we read only a few verses later, another story of Jesus coming to town. And there's this tax collector. A tax collector was a Jewish person who collected money on behalf of the Roman occupying force and government. And, and these tax collectors were despised people because of the role they played. Often they put a percentage above what was needed to be taxed. And as we read here, it says he was rich. He was rich. And so he does a few things. One thing that really appeals to me about Zacchaeus is Zacchaeus, because he's short and had an obstacle, what he did was he goes and he climbs up a tree in order that he can see. In other ways, he puts himself in the place and in the path of Jesus. And I've talked about that before. So often that's exactly what we need to do. And by doing this Advent series every day, as we prepare and make a good Advent, so to speak, as I used to say, when I make a good Advent, um, is, is that we're putting ourselves in the way of Jesus for Jesus to come to us. And then, then Jesus recognizes him because Jesus sees, you're keen, I can see you, you're in the path, you're in my sight. And we do that through prayer, we do that through listening to these videos, we do that, that through the disposition of our heart. And we can be confident that Jesus sees us right now. And then, when, and then he comes to Zacchaeus' house. Now, Zacchaeus is a tax collector and everybody else, the religious people, the religious people, those people who tell you what's right to do, they saw that Jesus was going again into a, a tax collector, a sinner, as it was said, house, and they get miffed by it. But Jesus says, I've come to reach those people who need me, who are sick and who need me. And this man was lost and now he has become found. And Zacchaeus turns around and he says, for all those that I've done wrong, I'm going to do this. And for all those I've done, I've, I've cheated, I'm going to do this. What Zacchaeus does is he does exactly the opposite of what the rich young man that we talked about, or the rich man that we talked about the other day, who then turns, turns away from Jesus when Jesus says, you've got all this wealth, it's before me. He walks away and, he, and he's sad. 
Zacchaeus, on the other hand, his response is completely different. He gives away without even being asked. He changes his heart. See, during Advent, Zacchaeus' response is our response. During Advent, our response is as we're praying that Jesus would come into our house, into our lives, it causes us to make change. And so encountering Jesus, Jesus coming into our life, is it's almost like there's a requirement that we change. We've put ourselves in his path, doing, doing these video series through the prayer we're doing. We've put ourselves into path and now change comes because we put ourselves in the path of Jesus. And I want to say to you today, embrace the change that you need to make. Embrace the change that you need to make that God will get, grace you with ability to do. As we put ourselves in the way of Jesus, change can come and we receive grace to do it. And Jesus says at the end, today salvation has come to this house because he too, he too is a son of Abraham. For the son of man came to seek out and to save the lost. And so often in my life, I've been lost. And Jesus comes and Jesus touches our lives so dramatically. So what am I saying to you is this, put yourself in the way of Jesus, you've done that. Now, as you encounter Jesus, make the changes that you need to make, just like this man did in his life. Go back and read Luke chapter 19, one to 10. Uh, it's a fabulous passage of scripture and it confronts us to change, which is what I need most certainly to do in my own life. Loving Father, I thank you today that you're with me. I thank you today, Lord God, that you're with us. I pray, Lord God, that we would experience your power, your might, your victory, and that you would come and dwell more richly and deeply within us that we could encounter you. And Father, we make this prayer in the name of Jesus through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, as we conclude today, I also want to remind you on Saturday and Sunday, just gone by, I think days 14 and 15 in the videos, you can see them if you're watching in our wrapper or if you go to this address, you'll find them. If you have a look in the, in the wrapper, in those videos, you, I pray on two different days, two different ways to pray. And I know many people have contacted me to say that they really appreciated that uh, kind of prayer. And I want to encourage you to pray uh, with me, which I'll do again this Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we'll pray again on these two days. Uh, but if you, you can go back, watch the video, sit down and pray again. Hey, God bless you. See you tomorrow.